amazing. Camilla. Camilla. Oh, Camilla is nominated tonight. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited for you. you. I know your work personally. I got to work with you. I know. And I'm gonna die if you win tonight. I'm gonna be so excited. I'm gonna die if I win tonight. No, die it. No. Um, my sister's here, so I told her that if I freak out or pass out, then she can just go upstairs and like, you know, take it for me. She can accept the award for me. Or if I have a really ugly Kim Kardashian crying face, then she can also take it for me. I don't think you have an ugly crying face because I've seen you cry and you're stunning the whole time. If that does happen and you get to be up on the podium, are you are you prepared with the speech? Um, okay. I had an interview like last week, which I, I lost my voice completely. I'm still getting it back. And I told my boyfriend, I said, if I have this interview, you freaking have to answer the questions for me because I can't talk. I have no voice. So I wrote down the answer to one of the questions and I didn't use it. And I was like, okay. I went back and I read it. I was like, oh, I got an email and I said, oh, 45 seconds can be the maximum for your speech. And I said, well, this seems interesting because I wrote this answer and it seems like it's long enough. And I was like, okay, I'm keeping it. And so that's what I have, but I don't have anything really like set. Gotcha. I mean, I will be weeping if anything happens, but I'm not sure. Well, are you the kind of girl who's going to say when they know. sit when they flash it, are you going to be the kind of girl who says, "Oh no, I'm still going. I've got See, things to I say." I don't know what oh. kind of girl I am when it comes to that cuz I never have won anything in my life. So, I don't know. It's interesting. It was interesting to watch the reel. You know, the Gabby did a lot of things that, you know, some people were, wanted to strangle her and throttle her, but everyone sort of universally came together and said, this was the episode. Yeah. Did you know that too? Um, well, I knew that the writing was amazing for that specific moment. I knew so was he acting? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I, well, when I first read it, you know, I'm just thinking like, okay, how can I bring this to life and so the first thing I think of is the writing and if it's good then yeah I can and it was so I was like okay and then I start thinking about what really happened in that story and it's really sad you know for her to say that she's that she shot somebody in the chest and that that person got up and followed her and kept asking for her and kept looking for her you know that's, that's a very overwhelming thing and for, for a mother to leave her child for me you know I'm not a mom but I am so connected to these girls, and you have no idea. Uh, they come to set, and I play with them. The other actors play with them. They love her. They didn't really like me, but they love Camila. <laughs> they cry, and I hold them. They stop crying. They look at me when I talk to them. Uh, they're very uh, responsive towards me. I, I, I worked with Galen recently, and you know, well, when I was on the show, and, and I had the girls, and. The girls would not want to go with Galen, and the scene was with them, and he was like, dude, I'm not going to make them. They want to be with her. Put them with her. Because I just have this connection with them, and to think about leaving them helped me leave them. You know, it helped me, and and uh, the story, of course, helps. And to be honest with you, I had an out-of-body experience that day. It was a little bit, yeah. Well, we're going to really, this has gotten very deep all of a sudden for a red carpet interview, so we're going to... Yeah, I was going to say, so, uh, uh, Experience. Um, speaking of your body, how about that transition? Uh, we do. We have to talk about the dress real quick. Uh, who are you wearing? I'm wearing an Australian designer called Paolo Sebastian, and I had a red dress. I saw Jen. She looks amazing. She's wearing red. Um, I had a red dress till the last minute, and then on Thursday I saw this dress, and I was like, oh my god. I mean, for the springtime, and it's just it's cucumber. Yes, cucumber. Oh, it is sort of green. There's another yes, one yeah. in there, the same. I'm, I'm loving this color. Melissa Orway has it on. You'll see her in there. Fresh. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm wearing uh, Karen Kane okay. and Charlene Kane. And you're coming back to Days. Everyone's excited. The news, the cat's out of the bag. The cat's out of the bag. I'm coming back. I'm so happy. You have no idea. Um, the last time I was there, I was crying because I was leaving. Now I'm crying because I'm coming back. Yay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And maybe you'll come back with a little gold under your arm. There you go. I, I told the writers I want to come out like Cookie. Yes, yes. The vampire. That's right.